An Iran-operated Navy helicopter boarded and then briefly seized a Liberian-flagged oil tanker yesterday near the Strait of Hormuz. That's according to the Associated Press. The Iranian Navy held the vessel for about five hours before releasing it. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery is here uh, for more. Uh, so Jared, give us the details. What do we know here? We're also showing some black and white video uh, of special forces roping down from a helicopter. Uh, what effect, if any, is this having on the oil markets? Well, uh, oil has been slightly elevated. I don't think that this is the single biggest driver right now. We have a lot of other factors in play, but we can remember last year uh, when we had tensions rising in the Gulf, particularly around the Straits of Hormuz, that's where one fifth of the world's traded oil passes through. It's an incredibly uh, important channel that's very narrow. And if tensions do rise, in this area, it does uh, have an effect on oil generally, but given the limited scope of this and what we know so far, I don't think it's really uh, affected the price just yet, but we definitely do need to monitor this. Now, something that can move prices, we know, are these uh, reports we get weekly, IEA out with a report saying that uh, demand for oil this year worse than expected? Yeah, they're, they're actually reducing their demand expectations throughout 2021. That's the end of next year. The steepest downgrades are coming with the uh, two quarters that are finishing this particular year. And they're saying that, yes, 500,000 barrels per day, that is the, the demand cut estimate. But they're also saying that supplies in or outside of OPEC should increase by 500,000 barrels a day. Now, that would be bearish on prices, as would that reduced demand forecast. But we can see crude oil here is up, or excuse me, down only about 16 basis points. And just checking out some of the charts here. So this is the overnight price action, kind of zigzaggy sideways action. But if we look over the last two months, you know, once oil was able to break above 40, that was right here in June, it's really stayed nicely above this uh, important threshold. So uh, maybe some of the tensions in the Gulf right now are contributing to the oil uh, increase here. 